A confirmed case of H1N1 flu in a Klondike Elementary School student did not stop most other students from going to class. Good evening, I'm Jeff Smith. And I'm Nicole Kahn. Tippica News School Corporation officials say the student recovered from the virus and is no longer contagious. Following the guidance of local and state health departments, TSC decided to keep the school open. Alyssa Rossame reports now on what parents think of that decision. Students filed into Klondike Elementary School as usual the day after an announcement that a student here was the first confirmed case of the H1N1 flu virus in Tippecanoe County. TSC Administrative Services Director Christy Fraley says attendance was typical. 95% of students were present. Our students are rolling right on in and so they seem very happy and we're, we're excited that we are able to stay open today. TSC's decision to stay open was made following guidance from local and state health departments. Parents who drop their children off in the morning say they're not overly concerned by the news of the virus reaching the school. It wasn't surprising. I mean, it was kind of like the waiting game when it was going to actually get up here. Um, but I've been teaching the girls from the get-go to cover their mouth, wash their hands, and so we've taken every precaution possible. I'm a little bit concerned, but um, I'm not going to be irrational about it. And I'm not really worried about it. And why is that? There's not much you can do about it, and uh, I just figure we're in God's hands, and I'm just not worried about it. Fraley says the student who had H1N1 has since recovered and is back in school. She says TSC has been taking extra precautions to protect against the spread of a flu virus. Custodians are cleaning desktops, doorknobs, and restrooms more frequently. Teachers are encouraging hand washing and proper hygiene. Fraley says she's confident it's safe for students to be at school. We would not be having school if we didn't feel confident in our local and state health departments, CDC recommendations. Um, they've recommended that we stay open, and so we feel very confident that our students are safe here. Fraley says if any future cases of H1N1 arise, a decision on whether school will close depends on the specific circumstances. Alyssa Rossame, News Channel 18. And TSC Superintendent Scott Hanback says the corporation has no information leading it to believe anyone else at the school uh, got the virus from the infected student. But just a reminder, County Health Officer Dr. Michael Boland says patients with mild flu symptoms do not need to be tested for H1N1 or be treated with antivirals. They can, however, self-quarantine at home for seven days or 24 hours after their fever has broken.